Happy 4th of July from Long Island. On the campus of Hofstra University today, the top two teams in the Premier Lacrosse League meet, Archers and Whip Snakes, coming in with three and one records. In almost two years before they dropped their game last Sunday. Joe Nardella, Stephen Kelly off the opening faceoff. It goes to Nardella. That's a matchup to watch all game long. Here's Amen. He's on the move. Had a step and he scores. Brad Amen blows past Dunn, steps out, puts it between the legs of Burnlore. That was two of the seven for Archers. As Ambler whips it past Burnlore. Ryan Ambler, his fifth of the season, gives Archers the early 2-0 lead. What is the most tangible way we'll see the absence of Matt Rambo on this offense? As Williams, he scores from two! Zed Williams. Eight seconds to go in the quarter. Williams. Shoved off balance by Hasek, then Williams pass, floated through. Tierney tracks it down on the far side. But that is the end of quarter number one, as that won't count. It was after the horn from Aslanian. That was early! Yeah, you know it, you know it. <laughs> Referee, too. Step in! Yes! Joe Nardella helps feed it around, and Whip Snakes have their first lead of the game. Ground ball comes to Earhart. And so Nardella has four out of five, and look at this! A gift for Manny and Archers. Williams with 10. Over for Hawes to the interior. Carlson with the jump shot. Pretty much the perfect fit for what the Archers needed. Ambler from a sharp angle. That one off Burnlor and it went in. Burnlor thought he had it. He did not. The little flip for Manny. Open is McNamara. Step, shoot, scores! Manny found the open man. It was Ryan McNamara. Oh Amen. Whoa! Grant Amen puts Earhart on the ground and then puts it under the bar and in. That is two goals today for Grant Amen. You can see the quick footwork here, the little left to right split. Trips up Earhart. Hey Grant, did you realize you had Earhart on you there? Is that one of the reasons why you went so aggressively? Schreiber. To the inside, off Ambler sticks. Schreiber picks it up again, feeds it to the doorstep, and Manny slipped it home. Will Manny on the board, four straight for Archers. There was 10.40 left in the quarter. More than five minutes ago. They've scored now. Brad Smith. Five minutes to go here before halftime. Chanichuk on the run. Zed Williams, who's a game shy because he missed a game last week. He's got 13 now as he bounced one past Gittleman. And it is tied at seven. Shots on goal. Haas shovels it. And that slipped through. Carlson found a way to get it through the legs of Gittleman to put Whip Snakes back ahead. Second today for Carlson, and now it's a 4-0 run for Whip Snakes. This is Jay Carlson doing Jay Carlson things right here. Brendan, you're going to see they throw it inside. How does he catch that? Rotate his hips. You look at that gorgeous catch. Rotates his hips and flicks it on Cage before getting crushed. The game of runs for Whip Snakes and Archers. LeClaire! Tied again. Trey LeClaire, his first pro goal. 
Made his pro debut Friday night, didn't have a point. Connor Fields on to Bernhardt. Open is Holman. Gives it to Schreiber with seven. Schreiber with five. Trying to turn the corner, the whistles come. And a moving pick on LeClaire there. And so that will end the first half here on Long Island. You wonder his mindset here after just making two stops in the first 24 minutes. Face-off matchup, Nardella won 11 of 17 in the first half, and a violation will give him one here. Chanachuk plays it behind. The pass to Smith, and what a rocket from Brad Smith as Whipsnakes open the second half with a goal. Tyranny to Aslanian, back to six on five. That shot goes! A long one for Brad Smith with the hat trick. And Williams was able to throw the hit on the spinning Mark McNeil. Stopped by Bernhardt, rolls back, Schreiber scores! Tom Schreiber takes things into his own hands. The man sitting on that backside figures I'm not a part of this defensive slide package. I might as well help out my goal in another way. Holman, tie game. Schreiber with the feed to the spinning Marcus Holman. Chrome edging Archers here 8-7 to seven on Friday night as Zed Williams seemingly nothing to shoot at, but he got it through Gittleman. Connor Fields rolls back. Field scores! Connor Fields takes it to the crease. Ties it at 11 and a power play coming up on top of it. Play. Foul on the play. Interference is wiped out. All even. All right, so take it back. Power play won't happen, but the seventh tie of the game will, thanks to Connor Fields. You see Fields after he rolls back. Fed to X, Chad and Chuck. Smith scores! Brad Smith has been the offensive focal point here lately. Amen. Working on Dunn, two seconds and one. The shot wouldn't go. And that'll bring it to the end of the third quarter. Thank you, Paul. Just an acknowledgement of what Paul Burmeister has just done. When we came on the air today here on NBCSN as Stephen Kelly wins the faceoff. Archer's trying to even the score here to start the fourth. It's Connor Fields and Will Manny in the blink of an eye. Out of his stick and in. There it is, Haas and Squires both on Fields, who then took a hit from Williams, and that will be penalized. So Connor Fields took the shot and a potential two-man advantage coming. Two fouls on the play. Red 26, 30-second technical, offside. Red 36, one minute, illegal body check. So it was Zed Williams trapped on defense who threw the hit here while there was already a penalty call. It looked like that's a pretty good hit by Williams. Six on four here for the first half of it. The Vineyard Vines power play for Archers and Will Manny on the doorstep finishes. And I know everybody's sticking around for that Chrome Atlas game. The open look, and Gettleman makes a tremendous it's save on Aslanian. Trying to get around Chanachuk. Schreiber chased out to the arc, seven to the shoot. Schreiber has his hands free, and he uses them. Tom Schreiber, archers by two. Here's Abbott. He fires it home. Every goal crucial from here on out. And What a play by Abbott there on Amen. Burnlor got out and comes up with the ground ball. Chanachuk trying to run past Harris. He does, and he scores. Mike Chanachuk ties it at 14. Go 
Goes to Amen. Amen found Manny. It was just out of his reach. Ball picked up by Fields, though. The double team came. Ball on the ground. Dunn picks it up. Runs through Schreiber, but a timeout taken by Jim Stag. Needed it just in case. And the Archers, it was there. Coming out of timeout, they drew something up for Manny. Amen's feed was just off the mark. And on the loose ball, you could see Earhart just hunt down Fields. Big defensive stop there by the Whips. Got a short stick matchup. He found an open man. They feed it to the interior. And Jay Carlson! Whip snakes by one with half a minute to go. And it starts with Williams. So he's matched up on a short stick. They support that, and then in the rotation, Carlson just gets lost in the middle. You can see the excitement by Hawes. The nice little feed inside takes a little bit off of it. That way Carlson can track it, come to it. The pivot and jump shot. And on the restart, it is Carlson. It was across midfield on the restart, and then it's dislodged by Hasek. Hasek made the play. Archers have a chance. Ten seconds to go. Tom Schreiber, the feed. It bounced past Holman. Amen can't come up with it. Hawes launches it into the air, and Whipsnakes will win it. 15-14. Fifteen, fourteen. Whip Snakes win it, but the PLL action continues soon, exclusively on Peacock, Chrome, and Atlas at three fifteen. And coming up, five p.m. here on NBCSN, it's the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series. For Ryan Boyle, Paul Burmeister, and our entire NBC Sports crew, I'm Brendan Burke. Saying thank you for watching the Premier Lacrosse League. Happy Fourth of July, everybody!